Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Desi X Katie Joseph Colors Friendcation Collection. This collection came out already, so I believe it came out last Sunday. So it's been out for about a week, and I know that the bundle, which included all of the products, was sold out, and now they're in Ulta. So just this Sunday, a week later after the launch, they went into Ulta. Um, I was personally on vacation when it launched, so I did get the PR box which I'm sure I received it probably that Thursday or Friday before the launch I wasn't home I was in Hawaii so I wasn't able to film or record with this and then when I got home that Wednesday the Thursday so last Thursday with yeah this past Thursday I sat down to film and my entire file was like pretty much corrupt it had my microphone had like a buzzing noise like a really high-pitched buzzing noise to where it wasn't any way that I could edit that out unless I didn't talk over and I just showed you guys the makeup tutorial and had I would have had to film a um I would have had to film a voiceover, but the whole point in that was filming the review and the first impression part. So this is more so of my review. I've used the products a few times. Um, so I've used them on like clients, also myself from when I use that use it in that video. So I kind of know a little bit more and, and can give like more of a definitive answer on products. So if that is something that you would like to see, then please keep on watching. So if you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will also make sure that you have down in the com or in the description box there will be a little like like sentence that tells you when this um, when the makeup tutorial for this look starts. So if you're just interested in the makeup tutorial, check the description box because that will be where you can figure it out. But if you want to know a little bit of information, then I'm gonna start talking about that right now. So the first product that I personally, when I found out that they were coming out with a part two, was the most excited about was the actual eyeshadow palette. And this is the Friendcation palette. This palette has 10 shades. It also has a full size mirror that goes the length of the palette. And it has five mattes and five of their, um, I don't wanna call them shimmers, but more of like their, um, they kind of remind me of the Dose of Colors Black Party kind of consistency. So kind of like their, um, like foiled glittery type shadows so it isn't it okay so it is in a sense the same formula as the first little palette which was noli suz harpoon in um turbo sun like this palette it's kind of that same consistency except you don't have to use them wet so with this first palette you had a little instruction card that came with it that told you like to use your finger wet or whatever it may be first for these two bottom shades these shades kind of remind me of the same consistency in the same product but you just don't have to use the ones in frankation wet or anything like that so and these are this is the two palettes kind of like one on top of the other so you get a nice you get a nice array of colors in the friendcation palette you get a nude you get a matte brown you get a tan you get a warm reddish brown and then you get kind of like a like a berry kind of color as well as and like a natural kind of neutral shimmer a berry shimmer a kind of like a, a green gold a blue with a purple shift to it and then a black with like a like how do I explain it like a like a asphalt like um like a what why can't I get that color out like I can't think of the color like a um charcoal gray type of color and then in the first palette they had like a bluish purple like a blue brown another kind of green olive green color a bronze and also another shimmery champagne shade so they did do different colors but they were kind of similar in the same sense I am really glad that they came out with the full size eyeshadow palette palette something that you can do multiple different looks with as opposed to the little palette the four quad or like the uh, Karen palette that had six shadows I feel like this is just a way better bang for your buck. So this was really great. They also came out with a, a few lip glosses. Um, one of them was already out, which is over the top. It's a clear with gold shimmer. And then the newer one is called The Most. So this one is another clear, but it has a duochrome shift shimmer. So it has pinks, it looks green in some light, it looks purple in some lights. It's really pretty shift and 
Personally, for me, this color is really good on lighter skin tones. I don't think it looks that good on deeper, darker skin tones, at least alone. I haven't tried it over like a pink or a purple or anything like that, which I'm sure it'll look really pretty, but if it's just like going on your lips, something to keep in the purse, I would personally skip. I would go more so for over the top because over the top is definitely a brown girl friendly lip gloss. I wore this and only this in Hawaii. like. I took other lip glosses, but when I got ready, I used this and that was it. No lip liner, no nothing, just swiped a couple, popped myself in the mouth, swipe a couple of coats on the lips, throw it in the purse or the fanny pack, whatever I was wearing, and went out the door like I didn't mess with lipsticks or anything like that so that is the two glosses then they came out with another two lipsticks so if you guys remember in the first collection they came out with um, more creamer please with the, which was a little deeper darker of a nude of a nude and then they also came out with um what was this no shade so there's no shade and more creamer please both very pretty nudes both nudes that i like are my ride or dies especially more creamer please this is the one that i would wear all the time i like applying no shade with like a little in the center because it's really light but it's still a really really pretty nude and they came out in this collection with hey girl which is a really pretty mauve and then they came out with aftermath which is a more of a terracotta red brick kind of color personally to me I don't really like either of the shades the mauve is something that I have that I feel like it's kind of like already there and aftermath I used it in the first video that I filmed and I did not like it at all I, it was just a little too red like an undertone it was like a brown with red and I, it didn't look good on me personally but I feel like once I put um, more creamer please over the top and kind of muted it down a little bit it was okay like it was fine but it on itself and uh, like alone I would probably never wear um, but the mo or hey girl is a little more of a mauvey so that's something that i could get away with using with um with the most gloss over the top it'd be really pretty so after that the first collection that they came out with they came out with two liquid lipsticks this collection they came out with two um oh my gosh how do they explain them they weren't they're like oh my gosh why can't i think of it like it's literally not coming to my head they're not matte and they're not satin. They're kind of like a comfort matte. Like a, oh my gosh, what can I think about it? I can't think of it. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. But they came out with My Mane, which is another mauve -y kind of color. My Mane is really pretty. It's a really pretty mauve. It's a little bit deeper than Hey Girl. And then they came out with a mauve story, which is a little bit lighter. This one is something that I would have to wear a lip liner with because it's way, way, way too light way too light it's lighter than hey girl um and way lighter than my mane it, personally it's probably something that i won't wear but it is pretty for lighter skin tones i feel like it'll work really pretty for lighter skin tones but on my on my darker skin tone i probably won't get away with that but i can like my mane or hey girl those are a little more wearable so for highlighters, the first collection they came out with, they came out with two highlighters, which was Fuego and Mirame. So Fuego is a little bit lighter in tone. It's really pretty on um, medium to light skin tones. It's really pretty. I used it on a few clients this past weekend and it was just really popping. Joseph Colors highlighters give off that really wet excuse me, wet kind of look on the cheek. It looks really wet, really highlighted. A little bit goes a long way and it is really creamy. So Fuego looks really good on lighter skin tones. And then of course, Merame is one of my favorite highlighters. I have been obsessed with it since I received it a few months ago in PR. Once I got back on Dose of Colors PR list, I love that highlighter y'all know because y'all watch my videos i use it all the time any type of video where i'm doing a full face type of thing i will use metame but their new highlighter chasing the sun oh my gosh chasing the sun is the best highlighter out right now for me it's a tie between another one but this one is so 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 stunning it's a lot more golden whereas metame is a little more champagne metame is borderline frosty on me but i still wear it because i like it but chasing the sun it gives the right amount of golden kind of hue and shimmer to the cheeks and the face like 
Chasing the Sun is good. And she said she created that one. It's like that moment where the sun isn't full mass, but it's also not fully set. It's like kind of like that in between where you go out and get like the perfect picture and you're trying to chase down the sun to get the right highlight and golden most people call it the golden hour where it just is right in between sunset and kind of like the afternoon-ish. But she said it's just pretty much like you're chasing the sun down to get that perfect kind of look. So that is what I'm wearing on my face right now. And it's just, it's just so pretty. Like it just, it just really like transforms the face, really makes it look really good. Like I can't say enough good things about Chasing the Sun. It's just, just my number one right now. <laughs> so that's pretty much the collection. Um, I, If I had to tell you all three things to buy out of the entire, entire collection, the entire Dose of Colors Desi Katie collection from the first part and also this friendcation, I would definitely say to pick up the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is a must have. It has some really stunning shades. And if you don't own any of their Black Party eyeshadows, I would say that this would be the best opportunity to get some of these um, eyeshadows, some of these foiled, wet, glittery type of eyeshadows without breaking the bank by buying $21 each in a Black Party uh, single. Plus it has mattes. So with this palette, you can create pretty much an entire look with, the, with these colors right down here, the rosy tones, and then you can use the browns and the transition shades for the greens or the blues or in my sense I just put black all over the lid and put the, the eyeshadow right out over the top of it so you can create a lot of looks using this palette and then the second option or item I would tell you guys to buy if you're into lip gloss definitely over the top this is this is one of the best lip glosses and I like the one from Dose, um, from Dose of Colors uh, and I love Sarahi but this one is way better like this one is gold it's gold it looks good on darker skin tones and the final product would be for you to pick up Chasing the Sun Chasing the Sun is really gorgeous it looks really great on deeper darker skin tones and I just this highlighter is just bomb. Like when I'm putting it putting it on my cheeks, I'm just like drool, like drool. Like and a little bit goes a long way. Like I promise I did not put on a shit ton. It's just that pigmented, that creamy, that poppin'. It's it's a really great highlighter. So those would be the three products that I would recommend you buy. The gloss, the over-the-top gloss, the Friendcation eyeshadow palette, and also Chasing the Sun highlighter. If you are my skin tone, a little bit lighter or even a little bit darker, I would definitely recommend those three products. But if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, and I'm sorry this look is, or this video is really long, but I, I just had to let you know. <laughs> but if you guys want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. I am going to go ahead and prime my lids. I just have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on the back of my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and prime one lid and set that down with the translucent setting powder. And then I'm going to come back so we can get started using the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this is the second time I've used this eyeshadow palette. I Unfortunately, the first time I recorded with this palette, it was um, the video. It was like, what, that Thursday after I got back from Hawaii and I went to edit the video and it had a buzzing noise throughout the entire video and I think it's because the cord that I connect because I connect one cord to my microphone the blue microphone and then the other cord connects to an adapter like I have a Amazon adapter so it's like a female to male and then the other cord is like a USB, like a aux cord that I took out of my car. And that aux cord has like a short on one side. So the side that connects to my camera has the short. So I just ordered a new cord. It'll be here tomorrow, which today is Sunday, Sunday evening. It's like what, 1130 at night, but another cord will be here on Monday. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that the same thing doesn't happen again <laughs> um, to me again. So that would be like the worst. So I can't really give you guys a first impression, but I can kind of give you like like more so of a review. Um, I have been using this palette over the weekend. I had Homecoming and I used this palette for that as well as the yellow look that you saw in my um, in my engagement video. So this is what the palette looks like, which I'm sure you already know, but it is really pretty. It has some neutrals over here as well as five shimmers. And these shimmers remind me a lot of the block party shimmers where they're really, really, really popping. Like they stand out a lot. So I really like that. Um, I'm gonna go in with Chi or no, with Churro, or Churro, 
which is like a reddish brown kind of color. It does have a mirror on it, so that's really nice because my camera is so low that it gets my mirror in the frame, but I'm gonna have to just deal, I guess. So, yeah. So I'm taking this on a Stilazzi L216 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead, oh, that's pigmented. I didn't tap off anything, any excess. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into my upper crease. This is gonna be my transition shade. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do something different. Like, this is kind of a look I haven't done in a long time. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and go It'll be all right. I'm hoping at least. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe with lashes and I'm gonna do like an inner corner. It might be all right, you know? 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, um, do my inner corner, do my face, hope that everything turns out all right, and that, oh, my hair, like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't know, maybe I'll do something like a sleep bun. I don't know. But the lashes that I am most likely going to pop on are, you know what, I was gonna do, these by uh these are the vegas by lily lashes but i think i might add i might think i might put on like soul snatcher or something really big um one of the tiffany moore lashes because these this is a wing so i need something like dramatic so i'll let you guys know when i come back which lashes i popped on okay you guys so i ended up going in with the more lashes in the shade or the style drama queen these just they just get my whole life together like if you pick up two lashes from more lashes, I say to pick up Soul Snatcher and Drama Queen. Those are my two favorites. Like, I cannot get enough of those two um, pairs of lashes. But I also did take a little bit of Noir from the Soul Street palette and just put that on the lower lash line, as well as a, a black eyeliner and then some mascara and just, you know, smoked it out a little bit just so that way it wasn't very top heavy. So for the inner corner, I am going to take this NYX Prismatic eyeshadow and this is in the shade 10 so it's just a silver shadow and i'm going to take a sigma smudge brush this is the number e21 and just pop this into the inner corner um i want it to pop in the silver just so that way it has a nice little pop in the inner corner and it pulls out of the eyeshadow i feel like it